Hello guys, this is Aim and welcome to the channel. This is the second video of the two part video series where we are trying to develop a file difference tool. In the last video, we have seen what are the tools behind it and the algorithm needed to develop this tool. The algorithm we are using for this is longest common subsequence and also another concept called shortest edit sequence. We have also seen how we have developed the algorithm from a naive recursive program to a, a dynamic program. So in this video, we will try to put our knowledge to the practice and convert to code. So this is the output that we have been seeing since the last video and it's the time to develop this. This file difference tool is completely on web. So we have to develop a markup which is generated by our Python script. So the language we are using is Python. So let me show you the code. So this is the file difference script. First, let's look at the input statements. The first input statement is LCS where our algorithm for longest common subsequence exists. And also we are using a tag which is used to generate uh, the markup which we have been seeing on the web browser. And also we are using web browser module to open the web page on the browser. So let's now start by looking at the algorithm itself. So this is the starting point for this longest common subsequence algorithm. So we are calling the longest common subsequence method and passing two strings where we have to find the LCS characters. Whole algorithm itself can be divided into three basic steps. In the first step, we are converting the string into list of characters and then we have to fill uh, the matrix with the operations or the LCS lengths. And then in the last step, we just have to derive the LCS characters from the populated matrix in, from the previous step. So instead of me going line by line and explaining the code, let's debug this program and see the series of steps that are taken place. So I'm pressing F8 to go to next line. So in here, we have converted A to list of type. So therefore you can see the type as list. And then we are declaring two variables, LCS length and directions, which are our actual two dimensional matrices. So as I commented here, LCS length is only for development purposes because in our application, we do not require the lengths because in our application, we do not require the length itself. Rather, we required to find the shortest edit sequence. Therefore, we are good with the directions where directions is the matrix where we will be finding from where the particular cell has come from as we have seen in the ending to the last video. There are many references to the last video. I suggest to pause this video, go to the last video where I'll be linking in the description below and come back. Therefore, you will have more knowledge what I'm telling about. So now let's get back and we are calling fill dictionary with operations. So the main purpose of this is where so the main purpose of this method is to populate the matrices. So this is just simple uh, for in for loop where iterating over length and plus one because as you see in the last video as well, we have two extra column and a row for zero and zeros, right? So this same thing we are doing it here and in the directions we are mentioning it as E as empty. And in the second else statement, we are checking if the characters are same. If the characters are same, let's map with the last video. If the characters are same, we are getting it from the diagonal and adding plus one. So similarly, we are doing it here and storing it into the particular cell. And in the direction matrix, we are noting that that particular operation is a diagonal operation. And the same and the same if the elements are not equal, we have to find if so either of up or left are greater and then we need to perform the appropriate operation here. 
and let's get back and go to a uh, next line therefore right now we see the populated uh, dictionaries now in the last step we need to derive the lcs characters from the operations so this method does that in this method we just have to go from the last cell to the 0 comma 0 cell so that is what we are doing it here this is the base case for that and all we are doing it is we are following from where the particular cell has come trying to reach 0 comma 0 cell if you are not able to understand this i suggest you to go to the last video and see the algorithm itself because this is just a code walkthrough so we are appending the operations here in the operations we are this is for user sake we are doing what we need to perform at what time and this is the keyword where these keywords are used in the file difference tool let's go to the next line and we have we know that so operations has these particular steps as a dynamic programming is bottom to up approach everything that we are seeing here is a reverse so before we just finalize our operations we need to reverse it and then we are returning it back here we are trying to print it into the console this is all is the longest common subsequence method so now let's see how we are using this longest common subsequence algorithm to develop the file difference tool so as we have seen that longest common subsequence algorithm is just three steps likewise the file difference tool is also can be divided into a couple of steps so in the first step we are trying to find the file where we have to uh, check the difference in the second step we are passing these two strings into the algorithm and getting the operations from it then we have to generate the markup from the operations so here in the generate markup page we are using the module yet tag to read the operations basically we are only doing is we are reading the operations and seeing if if particular uh, operation is add or delete if it is delete we are adding red color or it we are add we are doing a green color so like here so this is just a bootstrap um, classes so we are appropriately doing it if the code is linked in the description below if you have any doubt just go through the code it's very simple and very so these are the particular uh, variables that are used to form the particular elements on the html page then this is just for cos cosmetic sake but we are using the indent from the uh, yet tag itself to have a, a nice indentation after we save it into the file so right now we are generating the file and generating the markup and saving it in the file markup.html so let's look at that as well markup.html so as you can see this is the actual html page that we haven't written at all but it is generated automatically from the code itself so in fact we'll try to delete this one so i'm deleting this whole content so there is nothing in markup.html now and uh, we have to text a and text b right so let's see them so this is just the same example that we saw in the last video as well so let's run this it's trying to open in the web browser but it is not authorized as of now so this is the output we'll, we are seeing now so let's go to markup.html and see that the whole content is there as it is before we deleted it so guys this is it in this series we have seen how a interview question like uh, longest common subsequence is actually used in a tool like file difference where it is used in one of the biggest um, platforms like git i hope you have liked this series and i'll be bringing more applicative algorithms to you through these videos if you have liked this video, like, share and comment and I'll see you in the next one.